I saw that. <laughs> like when Jordan brings me in, should I just be standing going like, Oh no, do not do do not TikTok me. Do not give me any trends, you schmo. Hold on, let me I have to change your name real quick. I have to do your whole screen. Do you have an underscore with Gerard Nap? Or is it just all uh, one? No, just one. Okay. And A P P E. I can't believe I kept calling Vel Valora instead of Valu you know? Who am I? Why do you guys put up with my shit? <laughs> but that that's the number one thing that's like gives people anxiety like during it whenever someone like tips you 10 bucks it's like oh don't mess up this name they just gave me money I've had a lot of concussions i can't remember names so i'm like thanks man dude you're <laughs> awesome sick oh my god this means so much just completely it. avoiding it um wait okay real quick how many concussions have you had six Bro. <laughs> soccer. It does it. Yo, people think soccer isn't a hard sport. <laughs> Banging heads all the time. Um, yeah, I guess so. It's yeesh. Or, but, um, I say sheesh. But what? But the funniest thing is that I had my concussions like six months to a year after you know, one another. So my brain like finally healed and then I got another one. Finally healed, got another one. But where... On my last one, the doctor literally told my dad, he was like, yeah, if he gets one more, he might be a genius. And my dad looked at me, looked at the doctor and said, so you're giving me permission to hit him over the head with a shovel? Is that what I'm hearing? Dad and joke. I'm like, dad I'm joke. Like, I'm like, no, doc, no, don't tell him this. <laughs> no, but that's true. There's definitely people like, what was it? There's a couple. One where a dude just knew a different language or was speaking in a different language. One, somebody knew piano, classical piano and never played piano before. The brain is a wild thing. Somebody start hitting me on the head, bro. Yeah. <laughs> lucky number seven. You know, actually. Oh, yeah. Lucky number seven. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I'll do that. I'll do that new TikTok trend where they throw the sweatshirt over and then you hit your head. I'll just oh actually. Do like it doesn't affect you even a little bit. It did at first because the same way you tell Katie, like, hey, stop running, basically. Yeah. Um, that was me. I watched Ludwig and I love his like Amazon buying and like all the stuff that you need chat for. And when I got affiliate, I was like, okay, like there are people watching me. Let me actually go through with this. Went through it. Only two people showed up. Everything went bad. I had a panic attack before because I was like, this isn't going to go well. And then kind of after everything happened, I was like, you know what? Let me take a step back. I'm not trying to make this my full-time job. Let me just have fun with this. Yeah, that's the, that's the best mindset. Even with, a, I know we always talk about like, if you truly want to grow and build your stream and stuff like that, you have to dial in and do it. But sometimes you still really need to hold on to that fun aspect because it can, for the millionth time, like streaming should inherently just be fun to do. That's why you want to get into it. But it's crazy how, po like the smallest thing, like you said, you you had a panic attack, even though it was supposed to be a fun stream because you're like, I, a lot of thing I think new streamers fall into is the fact that they need to, not need to, but they end up relying on chat. In a way. They all have that buy-in and, and it's hard. It's, like I said, when I first got the Twitch, I, I, had no idea I'd be talking to partner streamers because I just put them up on this pedestal for whatever dumb reason. But I don't know. I just, I'm in too deep, everybody. I'm in too fucking deep. <laughs> it's my oh, whole world. It, it's the weird thing where it, you have to always remember that people are people. Yeah. So like one streamer that I watched that just got partnered, I'm his three o'clock in the morning stream because I stream chess and everything. And he's, he's really good at chess. I'm not so good. So he'll sometimes like either like pick fun at me and everything or be like, oh, watch out. There's a stalemate coming. I'm like, oh, shut up. Like, I got this, got this. Yeah. And then I stalemate and he just starts laughing. And he's like, all right, thanks for the content. Throwing it for content. <laughs> Time to go to bed. Thanks for the content. That's all you That's all you are, Gerard, is you're just content. Hey, I, I'm throwing myself out there. I'm that's other true. people's yeah. content. I'm other people's podcasts. That, that, like I said, the vel was the fact that we are creating spaces for people to come in and just have a good time, just take their mind off. Uh, someone, but isn't it if you push past that resistance, you get a
better growth, right? Like you can you can stay comfortable, but at, at, to what end? Like you'll never go anywhere, right? But that's the thing. Do do you want to be the one that walks along the hallway, or do you want to be the one that breaks through the wall? <laughs> and the one that breaks through the wall, there's you're gonna have blood on you. That's true. The first one to break through the wall is always going to be the bloodiest or the one with the mo most. Scars. I love this expression. I'm just imagining like the Hulk for whatever reason. Oh, yeah. Uh, how do you build a community like that? Is it just time? Is it exposure? You know, like it's it's mindset. That That's where I think it's mindset of do you want a fan base? Do you want a community? Do you want these people to be numbers or do you want them to be f actual friends? That's Ooh. one one video that I loved from Jay Schlatt and Ludwig, where they were like, you guys are numbers to me. I don't, you guys are not my friends. I am your new Hollywood. I'm on a screen. You guys can interact with me. I might interact with you. But it like also hits home wherever people in chat are like, you saved my life. It's like, no, I didn't save your life playing Pokemon. It's like you did that for yourself. You have people who love you and everything. That's your family. I'm your entertainment. Damn. Find you all that good stuff. Um, you can find me, Draw Nappy, on Twitch, Twitter. It's a lot of it is like period underscore random shit. Um, <laughs> also, I, I also need money uh, just for shits and giggles and shopping sprees. So if anyone needs an editor... <laughs> Are you legit trying to, like, I lost my job, but if you want to help me edit. <laughs> See, things like that, I will do that for free because it gives me the opportunity to learn something new. Yeah. I have long form ADHD where I like to pick something up for three months, learn it fully, and, and then, then throw it to the side. And be, but then, like, if I need a party trick, I could be blackout drunk. I'll still be able to do a Rubik's Cube. I... Same. <laughs> We're the same person, Jordan. <laughs> same, same. Let me put my hat on. Go follow Jordan on fucking Twitter already. Oh my god. <laughs> We're in the Girk gang together. Jordan's a homie. Um, dude. There it is. That's on. That's on it. That's on it, Girk gang. Oh, is it? Oh shit. Okay, hold on, Girk gang. Hold on, I have to bring it back up because I have like eighty different fucking tabs. Uh, oh, I'm the same. Girk gang. I'm sure it's an anime. Bingo. Who got bingo? Put it on there. Wait, are you just saying bing? Oh wait. Did somebody get bingo? Did anybody, has anybody been paying attention? I love this thing, but I, I don't know. All right, let me give you the lowdown real quick. Every week I get a bunch of creators together and we talk about streaming, their experiences with streaming, anything outside of streaming, gaming, news, current events, their lives, pretty much just chatting is what this is. If you're new here, welcome in. It's a pretty easy going bunch. Make sure to say hello to everybody in chat. If you wanna get my attention, make sure you at me. And if you're a returning guest, what's up guys? Now, if you're asking yourself, how do I get on the show? Easy, just hang out, get to know everybody, join the Discord, hang out in the milk bar, be cool. Just as a reminder, Patreon members get a private after show with the main guests, usually about an hour of a Q&A. So to wrap this up, if you're watching live, sit back, relax, drop a lurk. And if you're watching this on a VOD or a highlight, make sure to comment and like, share, do all that other good stuff. And then check out AnimeDaddy.com for my schedule every week. In fact, why don't you head over to Twitter, follow me there. You can get more updates on the show, the schedules, all that good stuff. Wednesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, we have Complaint Cast, and then Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, we have the Super Chats and then the Streamer Shoutout Podcast. Lots of great people to meet, a lot of chats to be had. I'll see you guys there.